Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of STEM with Mr. C. Today, part two of our dirty money science experiment. Uh, that's right, so if you didn't catch part one, uh, where we made our Petri dishes out of our agar powder and made agar gel, uh, you're gonna wanna click there. Um, if you already did that, then fantastic, you're in the right spot. Um, if you skipped ahead and you just bought uh, agar plates with the um, agar already in it, fantastic, you're ahead of the game. All right, so for this, you are going to need your agar plate. Now, I just took mine out of the refrigerator. Beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I have four of them because I'm going to test four different kinds of money. So you are going to need your Petri dish with the agar gel in there. You're going to need some sort of money, right? Um, it can be paper money, it can be coin money, whatever. So I am gonna be using a $1 bill, a $5 bill, a $10 bill and a $20 bill. Now I'll tell you where I got these. Uh, the $1 bill had been buried in my wallet for I don't know how long, uh, probably a couple weeks at least. Uh, the five and the 20 uh, I picked up at the local automated teller machine or the ATM. And my $10 bill uh, I picked up at a local grocery store when I asked for money back. Um, I've done my best not to touch them or only touch them in one spot. Um, and then I immediately put them in a bag because I don't want them to be contaminated. I just want to test the money. All right, money, agar dish, and plate. Um, Q-tips, right? Q-tips are gonna help. Now, I understand these are not very sterile. If we were really doing this in a lab in a controlled environment, uh, they would be single-use swabs or plastic, and then you'd immediately throw them out. Um, again, we're not in a lab. We're doing this for fun to see well, for fun and to see bacteria growing and to learn how to do this, right? So I'm just gonna use uh, some cotton swabs. I'm gonna use one for each, right? I'm gonna use one and then get rid of it. Uh, you'll need some water to moisten your strip, your strip, your Q-tip. Um, you can, you're gonna need a place to put it uh, to let it culture, right? As in to let the bacteria grow. I'm gonna use a paper bag for each of these because you're gonna to wanna to keep this dark and you're gonna to wanna to keep it nice and warm. I'm gonna show you a good place uh, to put it um, when it's to keep it warm. Um, and then that's really gonna be about it. Oh yes, permanent marker because you are going to want to mark um, on the Petri dish what you tested if you're testing more than one or two. Um, obviously it helps to know what you tested so you can figure out, oh my goodness, that's the dirtiest money. Anyway, if we're ready, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring you down here and I'm gonna show you how we can culture the bacteria on our agar plates. Okay, here we are. I've got, I'm gonna start with my $1 bill and then I'll do the five and then the rest of them you don't need to see me do. I'm just gonna walk you through how to culture um, all of the dirty, uh, disgusting bacteria that's on our money and put it here so we can actually see it grow. All right, so I've got my Petri dish here, and you know, let's talk a little bit about Petri dish, right? Well, this container is actually named after its inventor. Uh, he was a German bacteriologist, um, which is, he studies bacteria. Um, his, name is, his name was Julius Richard Petri. Makes sense, right? Why not? You, you make something, name it after yourself. Um, and fun fact about the Petri dish, uh, the first antibiotic, penicillin, was actually discovered in 1929 um, when Sir Alexander Fleming, um, he was Scottish, he noticed he was culturing bacteria and he was, you know, kind of had a, kind of a mess, right? And he was culturing bacteria in a Petri dish and there was some mold, um, which is a, you know, a fungus, uh, was growing and contaminated his petri dish and it killed all the bacteria around it. He was able to determine that uh, mold from that fungus actually led to the discovery of penicillin. Pretty cool. Okay, anyway, fun fact. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dollar bill out. So remember, I stored my petri dish upside down. I'm gonna turn it right side up. I'm gonna leave it closed, right? Leave it closed until we're ready to grow our bacteria. So now carefully, 
Um, I don't want to touch my dollar bill because I don't want to contaminate it. So obviously if you have gloves, fantastic, use gloves. I didn't bring any gloves, so I'm just gonna touch the corner and I'm not gonna test that. I'm gonna like, come here, touch the corner. Perfect. And there's my dollar bill. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my cotton swab. I'm gonna get it wet, so I dipped it in my water. I'm going to remove the Petri dish cover and I'm just going to swab, get a nice, I'm just gonna rub this all over George Washington's face. There we go, just, and then I'm going to streak it, which means I'm just going to make a nice little streak. Just rub it all right there, there you go. Just get it in there, spread it all around. And now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do another section of George Washington, of the dollar bill. I'm gonna do it over here in the one. So I'm gonna be careful. And I'm touching on this side and I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do it on the one. There we go, just another area of the dollar bill. Just really rub it, right? Get in there, get all that, just, there you go. Oh yeah, all right? And now I'm gonna rub it on a different spot, not in the same spot, I'm gonna do it over here. Right, and just rub all of that disgusting stuff that you just picked up from the dollar bill right there. All right, beautiful. Cover that. And now I'm going to, my used Q-tip, I'm going to not use it again because I've already used it. My dollar bill, I'm just gonna touch the corner. Uh, I am gonna use this again. I'm not gonna use it again, I'm gonna spend it, but there we go. And then on your Petri dish because, now we need to turn it over. Now we're gonna turn it over one because I don't want um, any condensation or water to contaminate that, right? So it's common to turn Petri dishes over so it still grows. And now I'm just gonna write my one dollar bill. One dollar bill. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna take out this for my $5 bill and I'll just go ahead and walk you through it one more time and then I'll speed up the rest. Okay, take out a clean Q-tip. Clean Q-tip, check. Okay, take out your $5 bill. If you must touch it, touch it on one corner and then don't test that corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and Touch it here. Come on, five dollars. Come on, Abe. Come on, Abe. Abe does not want, oh, there you go. Okay, I'm just gonna touch it here. Beautiful. And there we go. All right. Now I'm gonna take my water, flip the Petri dish over. Beautiful. Get my Q-tip wet. And then now I'm going to remove the Petri dish cover and I'm gonna to touch the corner and I'm just gonna swab old Abe Lincoln's face. I'm really gonna get in there. Really just all of that, oh, there we go, all right? Just swab it in there, all right? And then now I'm gonna streak it just like that, just all of that stuff. Just just get it all in there, right? Beautiful, and I'm gonna flip the Q-tip over and do another part of the dollar bill, probably where over here by the stars. There we go. Just, oh, there we go. Just get it all, all right? Get as much as you can out of there. There we go, beautiful, okay? I'm gonna do another side, not the same side, a different side of my Petri dish. Beautiful, all right? Rub it in there. And then I'm gonna dispose of that. I'm going to put the cover back on. I'm going to flip it over. And then write five dollar bill. There we go, there's my five dollar bill. I'm gonna move that to the side. And then I'll do the rest of them for you. I'm just gonna speed it up. So let's go ahead and 
Turn on hyperspeed. Prepare ship for light speed. No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> ludicrous speed? Sir, we've never gone that fast before. I don't know if the ship can take it. What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken? Okay, so here we are. We have R20, R10, R5, uh, and our $1 bill, um, all ready to be tested. Now we've already put the bacteria on there. Now we have to let it grow. All right, so now um, let's go ahead and talk about what we need it to grow. Okay, so what this bacteria needs, it needs to be warm, right? Um, it will grow, right? Bacteria will still grow um, when it's cold, but it actually grows a lot faster when it's warm. So I know it's February and it's kind of cold, so maybe tough to find a warm spot in the house. Got a couple options here. One, find a warm spot in your house, like uh, the laundry room where the dryer is, um, that generally gets warm. I'm gonna put mine uh, right by my cable box and my router, right? Because it definitely gets warm over there um, because that's always on and it's creating a lot of heat. Um, another option, if you have an aquarium or you have a reptile and you have like heating pads, you can always put these in some sort of aquarium and either put a heating pad or just like a nice warm light. Okay, you want it to be around 75, 80, 85 degrees. These will grow great, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do, you also wanna keep it out of the light. You don't want any light touching this. So you can either put it in a box. I'm gonna individually put these um, in, plas in plastic, in paper bags. So I'm gonna put a $1 one in here, and I'm just gonna fold it, and I'm gonna place it next to my router. I'm gonna show you that. So let's go ahead and do that now. have my assistant OC uh, he's actually gonna be doing this too he's gonna be doing this with his coin money um, and so we'll show you the results of that he's currently doing uh, some fifth grade magic right now and he's gonna be my cameraman he'd like to be on camera uh, I'll give him a chance to be on camera I know but he right now he's gonna go ahead and grab the camera for me there you go sir thank you uh -huh. Now, remember, I said we want a warm spot, so I'm gonna take all of my Petri dishes. I wanna make sure I know they're all upside down. And right here, it's okay if they're stacked. So OC is gonna follow me. And I've got a great spot right here. So I have my router, I have my little cable box, uh, and I have my PS4, which gets turned on every once in a while. Um, so I'm just gonna place these on my cable box. And actually what I want to do, because I can turn it on, let's go ahead and switch this around where I have my cable box in the middle. And this is a great warm spot, right? Somewhere where it's going to be nice and warm. Um, and when I turn the PlayStation on, that will get warm as well. Um, and so again, it's not going to be 80 degrees over here, um, but it'll be fairly warm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go back over and OC is there he is right there. OC, how's it going? Good, good actually. Good. Um, what, what, what's, uh, what's going on today with fifth grade? So, um, yeah, I just finished up my math. Wow, nice. Um, yeah, and I'm working on my language arts right now. Outstanding. Mrs. Grimm would be happy right now. She'd yeah. be very pleased. Good. Look at this. Right, right here. See? Right there. That's a face of a hard worker right there. All right, hey, and so OC is going to do some of his uh, his money. He's, uh, we had a couple culture plates for him. He's going to test his coin money because he had a question of can we use coins for this? Uh, absolutely. So we're going to see what OC can grow from his piggy bank money. All right. Bye. All right. Good talk. Bye. All right. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Right. That's step two of our dirty money. So um, talk a little bit about. We already talked about petri dishes, already talked about 
um, who invented them. We didn't talk about the growth on there, the agar plate. Um, and agar is just, it's just a growth medium, right? This is just a general, when I say growth medium, it's something organic that the bacteria can you know, live on and thrive and multiply, right? That's all it is. Um, there's lots of different kinds of agar. This is mostly just uh, a vegetable. It's got a vegetable medium and it has probably um, a little bit of other nutrients. You can actually make your own agar uh, at home, right? You don't even need the powder. You can actually make it um, using beef stock. Um, if you're interested in making your own, and growing your own bacteria whenever you want, click up here. That's a pretty good video on how to make your own agar if you don't wanna uh, buy the powder. Okay, so we're gonna come back. Um, it's gonna take, depending on if it's warm, if you found a good spot, if it's not disturbed, you flipped it upside down, um, anywhere from a week or two weeks to grow some really good bacteria, okay? Um, I do recommend Take a picture, take it out every day and take a picture. Um, and you can really compare the growth of what's happening, right? You can say, oh, day one, nothing. Day two, nothing. Oh my goodness, day three, there's something. And then you'll just see it once you get those couple little spots, it just goes, okay? Um, when we come back for part three, we're gonna investigate our results. We're gonna see and see if we can just determine from looking at uh, the bacteria and the growth cultures of maybe we can figure out like what that is. It's going to be very difficult without staining the bacteria, without looking at it, um, but maybe visually we can look at it and go, well, that looks like something or we can compare it to stuff we already know. All right. Uh, very cool. Uh, join me next time for part three of Dirty Money. <laughs>